Hello, Anchor Buffs. It's Steve with SV Panope. I've been executing some pretty substantial modifications to my Manson Supreme Anchor, but before we get into the current ones, let's review. As you recall from six months ago, uh, back it was video number 58, I determined that the Manson Supreme Anchor Shank had, well, let's say some extra material that it, I felt might be affecting the balance of the anchor, and uh, so I, I went ahead and I cut off the top of the shank that uh, that comprised the rock slot. And there you see that's the piece falling away. And that it's made for a heavier broken. tip. And it did indeed improve the anchor, but I still wasn't happy. Uh, the anchor sets as usual perfectly initially, but on the resets it would occasionally drag. Uh, so I wanted to improve things further. And if you remember, I cut that chunk of metal off so that the tip would actually be contacting the, su the, the seabed, nice and sharp there, put a bevel on it, and that turned out to be a bust. Uh, the anchor set uh, initially perfectly, and the resets were good, but not perfect. And here you see one where the anchor takes off and, and rolls along on its side. So here we are current time. This is a week or two ago. You'll see I've welded some material to the bottom of the fluke. That's actually leftover material from the shank that I cut off. I wanted to add weight, plus I wanted a more of a chisel shape, and when the anchors land on its side, I just figured that point, boy, that, that that's going to be great. And I was pretty confident. I was thinking, man, you're the smartest anchor person in the world here. This is going to just be great. Uh, so very confident, and, well, let's see what happened. Uh, initial set was good. By the way, every single time I have set this anchor... Initially, it has been immediate. So here's a reset, and I can't remember if this one worked or not, and yeah, in fact, this anchor modification was a complete failure. It uh, not only did not improve it, it made the anchor worse, and I don't think it reset at all uh, in this condition. Um, yeah, no, it, it was a 100% failure. I'd love to say that I was... Uh, just the, the smartest guy around. But anyway, I ground that back off and then I, I changed the tip again. Uh, you can see kind of an edge sticking up there. I, I welded a bunch of material on and then I just ground it into this very sharp sort of upturned edge. I'm just shooting in the dark at this point. I'm thinking, well, we'll, we'll just keep trying stuff and maybe something will work. Uh, so here we'll see our initial, initial free fall. And the initial set, it's perfect. Here's the first reset, and for those that have not seen my other videos, my reset pr protocol is just to drive the boat up and over the anchor at three and a half knots. It's a 15,000 pound boat, so it jerks the anchor around 100%, uh, 100, 180 degrees. And so those first two were great, and I was feeling pretty smug at this point. I thought, aha, I got it figured out. And on the third try, there she goes, same story. I'm gonna say that this this mod, this upturned edge, did nothing. It didn't make it better or worse. Uh, let's take a look at the fouling. I'm, I'm really starting to get uh, very interested in just what is going on here. Why will this thing not reset after it has stuff attached? So I cleared away some of this salad, and that generally doesn't affect things. It's the mud that's, that's the problem. And that, that mud is pretty tenacious. You'll see here, I've got to push that away. And I, it took quite a bit of force with my hand to make that stuff move. And it was packed in mostly just around where the shank is welded to the fluke. And I got to thinking that, that all that weight, that stuff's heavy. I thought that, that weight might be forcing the ear of the anchor. And I'm calling the ear the point where the roll bar attaches to the fluke. And I thought it may be pushing the anchor into the seabed. So you see I've welded on some much larger panels. Here's the anchor over on its side. And my theory was that that panel is going to keep the edge of that anchor from forcing into the seabed. And that'll keep the angle of the point of the, 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 the tip of the anchor angled more aggressively toward the seabed. And, well, once again, I had confidence. I thought, wow, this is just going to be perfect. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep that back of the anchor more up and counteract the weight of that mud on there. So let's see what happened. Here's the initial set. Here's a crab running out of the way. And once again, perfect performance on the initial set. When the anchor is clean, there's absolutely no problem. 
I nailed the reset course there. You can see the chain zooming by and here clicking on the anchor. And here comes the first reset. That was fair. It took a little bit uh, longer to stop the boat, but it did. And on the next try, uh, it's a failure. And then I continued to, re to conduct this test. I did, oh, I'm doing about 10 times on each of these modifications. Uh, so that was a bust. It was, it was uh, no improvement, and in fact, it made the anchor worse. Uh, seemed to have quite a bit of seabed attached to it, uh, but then I, I grind those ears back off, and I'm back to the drawing board. So this is an anchor right anchor. This is a Excel, and you can see the name Excel is cut into the fluke, and here's a Su Super Sarka anchor, another anchor right product, also with holes in the fluke. So uh, that gave me an idea. Let's cut some holes in the fluke of my Manson Supreme. So here we are. I put 18 holes in the bottom of this anchor. And I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of figured this was going to be a waste of time. I thought, how in the world are just some little holes going to make this anchor reset? Um, the theory, and this comes from Rex Francis. Again, he's the designer of the anchor right anchors. Um, he's claimed that these holes in the bottom of the fluke will prevent mud from sticking to the fluke. And, and indeed, his anchors, um, that's just exactly the way it works. They, they reset perfectly, and, and it seems to work. So, and here we are. I'm going back and forth. I think we're on number four here. Um, it's been perfect so far. Uh, here's the fifth reset. Again, I'm driving the boat back and forth at three and a half knots. It's been perfect every time. And at this time, this point up on deck, I'm thinking, holy mackerel, this is the best this anchor has ever done. Here's the sixth reset. Perfect. That anchor's not moving anywhere. It's just pin spinning right around, and within an anchor length or two, it's, it's nailing the boat. Stop dead in his tracks. Okay, I think this might be the seventh reset. we get the get the pictures back. You can see, <clears throat> the anchor's just not going anywhere. I'm spinning it around, jerking it really hard. It's perfect every single time. It's now, this anchor is now performing with the best. I think this is the 10th one. 10th reset, absolutely perfect. I can't make that anchor go anywhere, at least with the throttle and the wheel of that boat. Here it is on retrieval. It was extremely difficult to dislodge from the seabed, so it was set really, really hard. Um, it, maybe the maybe the holes makes it make it so it sets deeper. I don't know. Uh, that'd be harder to test. Anyway, let's look at this anchor and see what kind of seabed. I can see daylight shining through those holes. That's a clue. And here's the proof. There's no seabed attached where the holes are. Look at that. Uh, I would have not believe it if I couldn't see it. I wish I could say it was my innovation, but again, it came from, at least I got the information from Rex Francis. He's the designer of the Anchor Right Anchors. And I, it's, I don't know if it's genius, but it is, it, it, it's quite the innovation. Here's a closer look at these half inch holes. They are spaced one and a quarter inches from each other. Certainly I've weakened the fluke, but let's not get into the engineering of that. Uh, if you want to drill holes in your anchor, uh, go right ahead. But for the more rational out there, you can just buy a, an anchor right product because they already got the holes. So I mentioned Rex Francis, and I, 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 I very much respect him as an anchor developer. And I mentioned that this is his idea. Just clarify, he, he, I haven't talked to him about this Manson Supreme, and he didn't recommend that I put these holes here in any way. I just simply am copying his, his idea, because his anchors have holes, and, and they're replaced there for this very reason, to prevent mud from occurring. I'd also like to reaffirm the fact that I do not work for or have any affiliation with any anchor, manufacturer, or seller. I'd certainly like to make money with anchors, but um, be, be certain that all of my efforts thus far have been for my own enjoyment, entertainment, and education. Thanks for watching. So long.